So here's my next project. I bought this car about a month ago or so. Uh, the problem was that it needed a new turbo. So I ended up changing the turbo. Um, but then the engine started knocking after that. Uh, that might have somehow been related that that possibly the people did not keep up with the oil level and then the turbo went bad and it started knocking also and they might have poured in some stuff to make it stop knocking but either way I'm gonna actually pull this engine rebuild it and then I'll put it back in and we'll see what we're gonna do with that turbo also because it might have had wear on it also so yeah that's pretty much where we're at today <laughs> Here's the engine, finally pulled this thing out. This is my first Subaru engine pull. And right there, you can see on the outer surface, those rotors are not supposed to touch the outside of the turbo, but they are and there's quite a bit of play actually. I don't know if you can see. So I'm probably gonna have to either rebuild the original turbo, not this one, send this one back, and rebuild the other one, or get an, another turbo. Turbo. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on this engine. So. 
I guess now I'll go to bed. I'll go to sleep because I'm tired. Full day of work. I worked 8 to 5. And then I stayed after 5 to do this. And there's still stuff to clean up. And, and I'm, I'm going to take the engine apart tomorrow. So, peace out. It's the next day. It's the next day. And I'm ready to take apart the engine. That's the plan for today, to take it fully apart.
finally took the whole part, uh, whole engine apart. It took a while for me to split the cases because there were hidden bolts. This is my first time ripping apart a Subaru, so I wasn't familiar with all the bolts. Should have probably looked it up. There's like two in there. I didn't see. All right, so what was knocking? Cylinder four, connecting rod. And then the rest seem okay. Main bearings actually have some pitting and scratching too. But it's not enough to cause an issue. So, and I'll probably end up using these pistons anyways also. As you can see there's a little bit of scratching on the side. But there's a rule that if you feel something with your fingertip or if you feel it with your finger, uh, then you should replace it. I go over these scratches with my finger and I don't feel them. So that's all just a little bit, tiny bit on the surface. The walls, the piston walls seem okay, except for where those scratches were. But all it needs is just a, a hone and it's, and it's good to go. Subaru is a way a little bit more different style than engine because normal engines you'd have to put the crank in first I mean uh, take the crank take the pistons out first and then take the uh, crank out but in this one you take the pist uh, cranks with take the crank with the connecting rods out the last and it splits the case in half so two cylinders on this side, two on this side, and you take out the piston pins through these holes. These these little guys, those little covers for them. Pretty cool. And those are all the bolts that are for the case. So yeah, there's a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, quite a mess, and. There's a little bit of parts that need to be replaced and then everything seems reusable. I'll be replacing the oil pump also, I already have one. But the oil pan is actually quite full of metal. Like that, that's really bad. There's the bolts in there, but if you look past the bolts, there's quite a bit of many bearing pieces. And in the pickup tube, this is why the rest of the engine was getting less oil because the pickup tube was getting garbage in it. So that's why the there's pitting and scratching and but it should be should be good to go. I have a I also got a new crank forged crank nitride coated which should be good. I won't be touching this one. I'll just throw it away or frame it on my wall but yeah that's where it's going at and this is the end to this video um, the next video will be putting the engine together and putting it in the car and that's gonna be it for that project so, like, subscribe, comment, see you guys later.